world. This is Chatty Dad One. I am doing a follow up on Gulf Blue Plague. There has been a lot, a lot have hap has happened since then. Now this doesn't have anything to do, or they say it doesn't, anything to do with crocodile and the flesh eating bacteria situation there. This all has to do with um, the flesh eating bacteria that that they released after the Gulf Deepwater Horizon Gulf uh, spill to eat the oil. Okay, now they've gone ahead and admitted it, basically, and uh, they also are claiming that it's natural, that it naturally lives in the water. Now that's bullcrap. We know that that's bullcrap. We know this stuff didn't start popping up until after the BP oil spill. Um, I'm going to show you several different articles. This has become quite, quite rampant. Um, the way this thing... has uh, worked and moved. Monsanto's got their fingerprints on it. Um, I'll leave the I'll leave this article uh, in the description box below so you can go check it out for yourselves. But um, here we go. Where is it? Um, Florida flesh-eating bacteria. Let me increase it so you can see it. Because I know that YouTube likes to uh, fuzz out words a lot of times. Florida flesh-eating bacteria may be tied to BP oil spill tar balls. You think? And I want to warn you. I'm fixing to show you some pictures of this stuff. It's necrotizing fasciitis. Necrotizing fasciitis. Anything, you, anytime you hear of a necro, necromonger, that's dead, dead. Okay. Dead people. Necrotic is dead. Dead flesh, to be more exact. Um, but anyways, there's this um, article here. And, you know, they've done paid the bill for this thing. And people are popping up still with, with horrible, horrible infections. That's not being stopped. They're having to amputate people's stuff legs, arms, what have you, to stop the stuff, and then sometimes it doesn't. It has a 50% mortality rate on this thing. 50% mortality. Okay, here we go. Unusually high number of flesh-eating bacteria cases treated at the Nebraska Medical Center. Nebraska! That's not in Florida. That's not the tar balls. What do they what do they what they do is put them in a hyperbaric chamber and, and oxygenate the uh, put oxygen therapy. Um, that's one one of the only ways to treat this stuff besides cutting it away. I personally think they should put maggots on the person and let the maggots do the work and eat away the dead flesh. But it's a serious serious issue serious problem they are trying to under um, and this is all 2012 this isn't even 2013 I'm, I'm dealing with because usually the stats from 2013 won't come out until 2014 so it's it's like looking for needles in haystacks to look for 2013 cases yet in 2014 we're gonna see what happened this year more of.
I mean, you can find some, but it's local news stuff, like this guy got it, this guy got it. Um, I mean, they're now starting to not, not even report it as much because there's so many cases of it. Flesh-eating bacteria kills nine in Florida. This is in 2012. Killed nine people. Has a 50% mortality rate. So that means it infected people that got seriously sick with it were 18 people. It killed nine of them. There was probably way more than 18 people that were infected with this disease. I know of one personally. My friend personally suffers with it still and his, you know, he's okay now. He's able to go back to work and stuff, but he's going to be wrecked for the rest of his life. He's going to have, you know, pain from it. He's going to have problems with it. I mean, uh, look at all this. This is this year's stuff. You know? Um, and uh, this here, right now I am fixing to show you some pictures of this disease. This is a warning. If you have small children, you may want to uh, go ahead and pause this video and uh, not let them see this. Or you can let them see it and explain to them that these people are in the hospital and they're sick and that they're suffering with this. But this is... Um, this here is what it is. And it's similar but different from crocodile symptoms because these people don't use drugs. These people don't shoot up anything. Um, their sin, or what, whatever you want to call it is, is they went to the beach in... South Carolina, North Carolina, Florida, Gulf of Mexico, um, Texas, New Orleans, Alabama, you name it. They went to the beach and went swimming. That was their mistake. Now, even though they've put out issues of, of beware this stuff could be happening, um, it's sad. It's It's ruining so many people and I'm not showing you more than this because there's a lot of genitalia area if, if you want to come and see it come and look at it for yourselves but uh there's a big problem guys big problem we have unusually high number of flesh-eating disease bacteria treated at Nebraska Med Medical Center nine killed in Florida Um, that's not even the amount of people that are infected. I can't find a number of people who are infected. Here it says, um, Orlando is reporting that 26 people have been infected. That's a CDC website. Um, in Orlando... 26 people infected. And that's, that's just in Florida. We know that there's a lot of people that are infected with this stuff. And the numbers are climbing. The stuff is growing. They admit that uh, Florida flesh-eating bacteria may be tied to BP oil spill tar balls. We know that it is. We know this stuff didn't come about until they sprayed that organism, that organism to eat the oil. Well, unfortunately, it eats organic material, which human flesh is organic material. It eats us too, especially if we got a cut on our leg, on our arm, Anywhere it can get in our um, orifices, areas, 
that are, you know, exposed. That's why there's so many people that are infected in their, you know, private area down there. Um, but, I mean, this is serious. This is big, big time. I mean, I don't know. And it's not tied to the crocodile. Or could it be? Or could it be? Could this be a new something or another that they're trying out on people? I don't know. But I just know that it's it's getting bad. The Gulf Blue Plague is getting bad. And, uh... Where did I put that at? The Gulf Blue Plague. I'll just um, tie that up real quick. Gulf Blue Plague. Boom, there we go. Gulf Blue Plague. And this is what we were talking about, what, a year ago? And here you go. There's people that knows, that they know that that's what this is. They know that they've poisoned us. Sea life has been affected by this stuff. Um, and it continues to spread. It continues to grow. We know that the third of the oceans are going to die from the Bible. Well, this could be part of that. But it's killing humans and killing them fast. 50% mortality rate. If you go to the hospital and get it treated. See, they sprayed this stuff on the oil. They sprayed Corexit, which made the oil drop to the bottom. Then they sprayed this stuff which went in there and ate the oil off the bottom of the ocean. You ever wonder where that oil went? It, it, it went somewhere. It went in the belly of this organism. This here could be from a, uh, one of the videos that I did on it. But anyways, this is becoming way too long of a video. I didn't want it to be this long. But I wanted you to be aware. I wanted to revisit um, this Gulf Blue Plague and what it's becoming. This necro necrofascism. Um, and it's terrible. It's sad. I mean, what's next? What is next? The necrotizing fascist. Uh, fistitis this stuff here this horrible terrible horrible stuff here I mean this is true zombie land people this is true zombie land one of my subscribers wrote that the CDC had issued an alert for zombie-like epidemic coming, and uh, th this could be it. What do you do with somebody like this besides load them up with as many painkillers as you can give them and uh, try to help them, pray for them, whatever. But anyways, I hope everyone's well. I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. This is Chatty Dad 1. God bless. Good luck to us all. Never give up your guns. It's the only thing that stands between us and total takeover and tyranny. This is Chatty Dad 1. Over and out.